Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Sweet revenge. Let's talk about sweet revenge. Many, many people think of revenge in the sense of revenging a situation, an adversary, or a circumstance. Well, let's think about why the circumstance or the situation came. Was it sent to make us or break us. And oftentimes what happens is we think defensively. Well, let's get in an offensive, offensive thought process, meaning let's get out of the defense mode. Defense means that I feel like I have to fight for myself and my rights. And this is probably why we've all been in situations where um, we couldn't get out of the mindset of hurt and disappointment. If we could think on the possibilities that are coming through, whatever the situation is, we can make it better. Now, this is a change of mind, and this is for women and men over 50. You know, I remind you that we started a 50 plus wellness club. And that means that you take your power back. This is not to alienate the younger people, but we've got to get back up 50 and over and start doing our due diligence towards the communities that we live in. And that means that there's a lot of people around us that need mothering and fathering, mentoring. And yes, I know that many people do not want to take on the responsibilities of others, but what would we be? if we did not own up to our responsibilities concerning the world, which brings us back to sweet revenge. That sweet revenge that you seek outside of yourself is the revenge that you need to take within or you should consider taking within to say that no one could defeat me or no thing could defeat me. I take my power back. And sometimes that thing that came up against us in opposition is something that is trying to direct us to the most powerful part of our life. It is even calling us to transform our lives. You know, earlier this year when um, the pandemic started and I think into June, situations that I was, you know, encountering um, started to make me feel some kind of way. But I began to think about my mindset and where I wanted to go. I began to think that I'm not in the time or the mind of recreating or reshaping. I'm in a time of evolution. And so I began to tell uh, those that I work with in the courses that I give that very thing. People were saying, well, we're uh, in a time of recreating. And I would say, you know, you can recreate. But that means that there's a possibility of something that you had did that didn't work is going to come back into your life. Something that you worked with is going to come back into your life that you did not work well with. I want an evolution. I don't even want to recreate. I don't want to do the same thing. I want to be a different person, right? And so sweet revenge means that there's some things about myself that the opposition has pushed me into to get my attention. What a wonderful thing to those that have been a part of opposing me. They push me into my growth, my opposition it's not so much for me to be defensive, but for me to look at why they are opposing me and find my position in the stand. Defensiveness can close your mind off. It can close your heart off. That's not something that you wanna do, especially if you're a person of love. Defeat will close your heart off and you will not know how to get up and do what you need to do. So sweet revenge, bring the balance into your life. Whatever you need to do to get out of the mindset, inspiration, reading, taking yourself to the next level, a place that you've not experienced, that's what's on the agenda. 
Uh, you know, many people will say, well, you don't know my story. I don't know your story. But what I do know about stories is, is that oppositions come to make us better. See, I have to remind myself of that every day because oppositions can live in your household. They can be in your family. They can be in the workplace, wherever they are, they are the ones that can touch your heart because they are there to make you better. What is better? Evolution, change, transformation. The pain is there because you and I don't wanna do it. Complacency is there. So I encourage you, ladies and gentlemen today to get up and think healthy. Get up and think wealthy, infinite. Get up and exercise every day. Become consistent with what you want. Don't tell me that you're 150 pounds and you don't want to lose weight or that you don't want to do something about it if you feel like it's a problem. Don't tell me that you want a new relationship and you don't want to work at it or look at yourself and see what you're bringing to the table that is not conducive. Don't tell me that there's nothing about you that needs to change because you've been a victim to circumstances. Because if you're a victim to circumstances and you stay there, you'll always be in the circumstances. There's no solving the problem. Now, you can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. Go to www wwealthyliving.org and drop me some lines. Become a part of the 50 plus uh, wellness program. We have a wellness coach and we have wellness products. Leadership um, groups are on Tuesdays if you need leadership and that is for consulting, coaching if you're in business. We're here and we're developing something every day. The pandemic is starting back up you know, a lot of people are going into lockdown. And so we have ideas for you where you can become more lucrative in whatever you do, or if you're transitioning or evolving out of an old position, profession. You guys have a wonderful day and thanks for listening. My name is Kim.